My name is David and I'm here with Tetro today and we're going to mount the dual front mount Tetro bricks on the road bike. There are a few benefits. One, good modulation from the dual mount brakes, so it's a little bit stiffer, and ease of use and mounting, as well as there are good tire clearance up to 28C. If you'd like, we can go ahead and get started. Tools needed for installing dual mount front road brake. Wire clippers, 5mm Allen wrench, a 4mm Allen wrench, a 3mm Allen wrench, and T20 Torx wrench, and new cable ends. I'm going to use the T20 uh, Torx wrench and install very carefully. Make sure you do not cross thread before I pull out the mounting bracket. Each side is evenly threaded in, just a few threads. Now I can safely pull out the mounting bracket, place that aside, and I can finish torquing this down. Once you have this snug on both sides, you take the torque wrench and it's recommended torque from about 7 to 8 newton meters. And I recommend using a torque wrench always for final fitment. Once I have mounted the brake, I'm going to, I prefer and recommend, taking the bike off the rack. Putting the bike firmly onto the ground. Then setting the wheel into the trap outs. And for me, this allows to make sure that the wheel is in straight. Make sure the wheel is in straight. Then clamp. And I place the bike back into the work stand. The next step is routing the cable. So I'm going to route the cable through the tension bolt. Please make sure this is all the way in. I clamp the brake. I clamp the brake caliper. I pull the cable through. And then I snug the cinching bolt like that. The one thing that I tend to do is if you've noticed, I've left the adjusting uh, for the adjuster open. That leaves me room for once I've done this, is I can use this to compress and stretch the cable once I'm done. I'm now going to adjust the pads evenly onto the rim from both sides. I start by placing the pad near the rim, snugging it up. Then I can take and pull the brake lever. Once I've pulled the left brake lever, I again slightly loosen that make sure that the pad is even onto the rim, making sure that the rim is evenly lined for the wheel. And then I re-snug it back up, release the brake, and then finish torquing onto the other side, loosening up the pad, taking the brake, Pulling the brake lever just a little bit, not too much. If you pull too much, you start getting some deflection. You snug your brake pad back up. Now the brake pad is even with the rim. And then again, I torque back down to spec. And then you have even pads aligned properly. I check for clearance and snug this up to torque. You also need on the dual mounts, you're going to need to center the brakes from left and right. The best way to check is you pull the brake 
and you check to see if the wheel is being pulled from one side or the other. Currently it's being pulled from left to right. So now I need to adjust the center to where the pad heat hit evenly. And that looks pretty even to me. So pull in the brake and you get no pull from the wheel from left to right. Now I'm going to do a final cut and I usually cut it right around level with the brake pad bolt. You don't want it too long. You definitely don't want it too short in case you have to adjust for the cable later. Now I'm going to put the cable ferrule on just that. Slide in the cable fair on. Make sure to not catch any of the odd uh, cable strands. And clamp this down nice and tight. And there you go.